Hi, hi everybody. How you doing? Bye. What brownie troop is this? <laughs> three three nine. Okay. And what? Oh my goodness! What group is this over here? What volleyball team is this? Thompson. All right. Glad you're here. Glad you're all here. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for bringing the kids, moms and dads. I have a seating chart, Ladmo. We better find a lucky seat winner. Couple of winners, Walt, but we still have some more toys from Hasbro plus a Ladmo bag. So let's give away a Ladmo bag first. Stop. You have a winner in the front row. Mm -hmm. To your right, right on the aisle. Why that you? What's your name? <laughs> There's our winner. And now here goes Ladmo all the way to the top row on his left, the second seat over. That's you. What's your name? Karen. Karen's our winner. Okay. Karen. Today on the show, Marshall Good, Captain Super, and Gerald will be here, and Dan Horn's here. Yep. So I guess we better get rolling. We'll see the first cartoon right after these messages. over here to get their Ladmo bags, but first, Ladmo, I'd like to know exactly what's in a Ladmo bag. I'm going to tell you. Well, we have Tootsie Rolls, and we have lots of candy from 7-Eleven, and toys from TG&Y, wall boy. Payday candy bars, Hollywood brand, and milkshake candy bars. We also have, from Nabisco, Bugs Bunny, Graham cookies, and what else do we have here? Pepsi Cola, Whoppers. We have certificates from Burger King, and we have a... Uh, from Clover Club, we have some chips, a uh, flying saucer from McDonald's, pencils, and, oh, and coupons, coupons from the uh, Tex Critters. We have uh, a mini, uh, a mini pizza, and also for Polly Parrot, we have a mini pizza from them. That's on oh. um, Chris Town, Polly Parrot. Well, Lamo, you've done a good job. Good stuff in there, Walboy. And I'll look forward to seeing the winners in just a little while. We give them their Lamo bags, but right now, here we go with our next. Someone's at the door. Come in. Who is it? Oh, hi, Gerald. Are you really happy to see me? I sure am. I know that you've got something to show us today. I didn't ask you, you little creeps. I know you have something to show us today. Something valuable. Uh-huh. Something rare. Really? Well, what is it? 17th century rent receipts from Eastern Europe. I've got them right out there. Do you want to see them? Yeah, I would like to see them, Gerald. All right. Gerald will be right back. It's show and tell for today. Well, because the they're only thing so he... rare, I had them in my vault. Oh, OK. And he promised me they're very rare and very expensive. It's the Oiga. You heard of the Oiga vault? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I had it right in there. OK. See? 17th century rent receipts. And there are only two of them left. That's really rare. Look at the historical coincidence. What's look, that? You looking? Yes. The landlord just happened to be my ancestor, Baron Rupert von Springer. Yes? That was the original pronunciation. Oh, OK. And the impoverished tenant, see this? Happened to be Ladmo's ancestor, Stanislaus Kwiatkowski. Well, I'll be. The Baron kept Rupert in servitude for decades. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I kept him. Isn't that a riot? Just think how rare those receipts would be if there was only one. What do you mean? This. Ah! <laughs> hey, you're talking rare. <laughs> I'd like to meet the winners. We have lots of winners too, won't we? Let's start over here. What's your name? What is your name? Donna. Well, welcome to the show. And next to you, her is Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Wes. Hi. Wes. How are you doing, Wes? Janelle. Janelle. Krista. And they all have their Ladmo bags. There they are, Walboy. Our winners. Good looking group, huh? Oh yeah. 
It's my favorite part of the show, we get to meet the winners. Me too, me too. Well, let's get rolling with our... Wait a minute, i got to tell you something. What, what, what? Starting what? in January on our show, Roger Ramjet. That's right. Roger Ramjet cartoons will be back. All righty, I guess we can get rolling now with our next cartoon. Oh. Somebody's at the door. Come in. Oh, hello, Captain Super. Is it all right if I come in on the same segment that Roger Ramjet is being promoted? Oh, you're so jealous. Jealous, some phony animated hero who wants a cartoon character when they can have a real hero like this one, huh? <laughs> that reminds me, we have a request for a pose. May I have the letter there, please? Oh, the letter. Yes, well, thank you very much. Just a second. Requests for an action packed pose. I'm doing one right now. Captain Super fixing his hair. Okay. That's an amazing rug. You can hardly see the gauze. <laughs> Just give it to me step by step. I'll be more than happy to do it by request. Poses from Captain Super. Right arm extended forward. Right arm extended forward, okay. Left arm extended forward. All right. It's one of the kids sent this in a request yeah. for Drop down on your right knee. I've never seen this one before. Now drop down on the left knee. All right. Clasp the hands together. Mm hmm Beg for mercy. That's the Captain Super we all know and love. <laughs> <laughs> Cartoon time. <laughs> I should have started it for him. Here we go with our next cartoon. <laughs> well, Lambo, I'd like to know who's the winner. Funny picture is Sean Oliver who lives on South Windsor, Windsor Circle in Mesa. And there's Gerald being chased by Jaws. <laughs> yeah, it sure looks like Gerald's going water skiing and the big shark's jumping out at him. I think that's very good. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> notice the spelling? Yeah, well, yes, that would really upset Gerald, wouldn't it? <laughs> it With a J anyway. instead of a G. <laughs> that's all right, and uh, Sean, we'll look forward to seeing you. Come down to get your Lano back. All right, and here we go with our next. Oh, somebody's at the, will you get that outfit? Oh, come on in, Marshall. Girl. Come on in. Nice to see you. Yeah. You sure you uh, really want me in? Yeah, I wanted to ask you. Do you have a nice Christmas? It disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah, someone gave me a partridge in a pear tree. What happened? Uh, partridge ate the pears, chopped down the tree, flew out the window. It could only happen to Marshall Good. Wait a minute, you don't have a window. I do now. <laughs> well, that sucker's right through the bricks, huh? Big oh, park. for Monday night? Ladmo's birthday parties at Tex Critters. That's at Metro Center. Mm -hmm. At the pizza parlor, we're going to have lots and lots of fun. If you have a birthday party and you want to celebrate it with Ladmo, just call Tex Critters at Metro and make arrangements. They'll start around 6.30, Wallboy. And uh, of course, there's going to be, well, Ladmo bags, lots of games. Oh, yes, and guess what? Gerald's going to be there, too. Can you imagine Gerald at your birthday party? Uh, but it's a new year, he may be turning over a new leaf. You never knew. Is this gonna be a regular deal? Every Monday, yeah. We're gonna have birthday parties at uh, Tex Critters every Monday. So if you have a birthday coming up, you wanna celebrate it there with Lambo, Gerald, Tex, and all the guys, call yeah. give them a buzz. Sounds pretty good to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I will be going back over to the studio audience to look for some lucky seat winners in a little while. Give them their Ladmo bags, uh -huh. but we'd just like to mention now that if you'd like to be a winner come down and be on the show and get a Ladmo bag send in a funny picture a note about your hobby a joke a riddle a snapshot a call a good postcard to Ladmo post office box 20100 Phoenix Arizona lad what's that zip 85036 all right and that's the story on that yeah now we're going to turn things over to Dan Horn and Orson and Orson Orson mm. are you tired mm. Well, what's new today? Well, 
You know, I've done a lot of things in my life. Boy, I'll say, you've crammed a lot of years, a lot of living into 91 years. Yeah. But there was still one thing that I'd always wanted to do that I'd never done before. What's that? I'd like to be a clown. A clown? Yeah, but you are a clown. No, I mean a, a real clown. Like in a circus, like Botho. But, but Botho isn't funny. I know, but that's not important. What's important is that he's a real clown. Well, if you want to be a clown, be one. What's the problem here? You don't just be a clown, boy. <laughs> It takes years and years of training to meet the qualifications. Well, what are the qualifications? Maybe, maybe in some areas you already qualify. Well, um, first, you have to wear funny clothes. Now, see there, you already qualify for that. <laughs> Sorry. Second, you have to make funny faces. Okay, well, let's see you make a funny face. Oh, no. Come on, let's see you make a funny face, see if you qualify. All right. Okay, let's see. That's great! <laughs> Stop! Stop! No, wait, no! That, oh, what a funny face! Wait a minute! I didn't do anything yet. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, try again. Anytime. I just did it. <laughs> or so I'm afraid your face doesn't quite qualify yet. Well, third... You have to be able to make kids laugh. Okay, well, there are kids out there. Why don't you give it a try? Well, go ahead, give it a try. See if you can make them laugh. All right, I'll try singing a funny song. Okay. <laughs> cock-a-doodle-doo, cock-a-doodle-doo. This is what a rooster sings, cock-a-doodle-doo. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going to be... They're not laughing. <laughs> A couple of them were. A couple of them were laughing out there. The ones at home aren't. Well, um, let's see. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> You're laughing. I know. Wait a minute. Orson. But they're not laughing. Don't feel bad. A few of them were laughing. Let's face it. I'm just not cut out to be a clown. Well, look at it this way, Orson. You made them laugh just as much as Bafo could have made them laugh. There you go. True. I never thought of that. Yeah. Mm. to find a couple more winners. Okay, I have a couple more prizes. A Lambo bag and another toy from Hasbro. The bright light. I have light a bright. chart right here. <laughs> bag first. All right, Lambo. Huh? Second row to your right. And the third seat over. <laughs> way, way over here. What is your name? There's our winner. Okay. <laughs> and your next winner is also in the second row, but this time to your left. The third seat over there. Way over here, what's your name? Address our winner. It's been fun today. Thank you for being with us, Brownie Troop 339. And if you're Brownie Troop or Cub Scout Den would like to come down and beyond, call the station and they'll schedule it for you. <laughs> That's it for today. So long, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Stay tuned for that crazy cat and mouse team, Tom and Jerry, next on TV5. This afternoon, enjoy more cartoon fun with Bugs Bunny and Friends at 3, followed by the Pink Panther at 3.30, and everyone's favorite hero, Scooby-Doo, at 4. Yeah.